Warning, there will be times during this tutorial where our ability to finish an Amelia Earhart wine box bag will seem questionable. Stay with us to the end. We Amelia Earhart you so much that we will make sure this bag doesn't die the same tragic death as Amelia. back again by I think at this point popular demand well my popular demand it's, it's a lot of people's popular demand huh. we're back by popular demand it's Ash and Beth and we are going to do some more wine inspired crafting for you tonight yeah, this one's going to be interesting. This is gonna be really good because we met for drinks earlier, which means that we are more than wine inspired. Mm -hmm. We have a really great idea because it's almost Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And so, but we appreciate Galentine's Day. Yeah, if I mean, if I'm gonna be real, my gals is where it's at. So I am celebrating Galentine's Day. Oh, I can't even do this with my kids in the background. There's babies. Here, we're gonna take a quick pause. Is that a monster or a baby? Oh, back to where we were at. I love my husband, I love my kids. Yeah, they all went through here, like a parade. It was, it was, a, it was a parade I didn't want to go to, but it was a parade. Yeah. And, but the thing is, when I'm talking about Valentine's Day this year, my gals is where it's at. We're talking about Valentine's Day. Yeah. I, Amelia, air heart you so much, I brought you a box of wine. It's right there. Right. Well, actually, we drank a lot of this box. We are gonna talk about that. We are gonna make an Amelia Earhart wine tote, but not a wine tote for a bottle because if you love your friends, you bring a box. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make an Amelia Earhart wine box tote. Because, well, the, the saying was, I crashed your party because I love you so much. Right? I crashed your party. Because Amelia Earhart. I know, but something about an ocean. I crashed your party. I brought you an ocean of wine. Yes. <laughs> I, I love you so much. Yeah. I love you so much. I crashed your party I and I brought you an ocean of wine. Thank you. So what we're going to do in our typical style of making a pattern is we're going to take the thing we want to fit in our end product and we are going to just take a piece of felt and measure around it. Super legit way of making a pattern. Mm -hmm. So if you take this piece of felt around a box of wine, it is just a little bit over half. So what I decided was going to be right is to cut one inch off the short side of each of our pieces of felt. So we're gonna do cream on the front for the face and the neck. Yep. And we're gonna do brown on the back because she's wearing an aviator jacket, mm -hmm. like a bomber jacket. Yep. Yeah. And so if we cut one inch off the short side of each of these and then sew those two pieces together, short sides together, it's gonna be the sides to our box of wine. There we go. And then we're just gonna put a bottom on it and we're gonna use those one inch pieces we cut off as the straps. Then we're gonna just make some aviator glasses and a really sweet scarf. Boom. Yeah. And then you're done. If and you, you have, have a really cool wine tote bag if for you a have, box of wine. If you have girlfriends that do not bring you a box of wine, dressed as Amelia Earhart for Valentine's Day, ditch those bitches. Yeah, find new friends. <laughs> find new friends. So we're gonna get to the next part and we're gonna start making some shit. Yeah. We're back and we have cut our pieces of felt out. And the last time that we made a wine bottle bag for Ruth Bottle Ginsburg, we did it on a sewing machine. Tonight we are going to hand sew because that's going to be attainable for even people who have had a box of wine like me. So we're gonna do it hand sewing tonight. Mm -hmm. And I have a very special way of showing you how to hand sew. This is my magic tip. Take a Sharpie, drink some wine. Always drink some wine. Take a Sharpie, take a ruler and take your finger. And you're going to just lay the ruler on your finger and mark at one inch and then mark at a half inch. And now on your finger, you have a perfect half inch marked. And this is going to come in handy as you sew. 
we're gonna use thick thread tonight because we're strong, like like Amelia. Amelia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then I'm gonna take my two pieces of felt together. Can you see this? And I'm going to just hold my finger to it, and I'm going to stick my needle in right there. See, and then as we we're just going to do a I don't know maybe this is like a whip stitch whip stitch we're gonna like what's a whip stitch I feel like a whip stitch I don't know, I don't know if this is a whip stitch but we're gonna like whip it around like a anyway so we we're gonna do that so now now I'm gonna go around the back and I'm gonna come back up right at the mark in my finger and that's what's going to make sure that we have very even sewing lines as don't we go. Sew don't sew your finger. Okay. So I'm going to pull it through and then I move my finger up. I'm going to pull it through. I mean, if you felt like your hand sewing lacked sort of a professional quality, marking your fingers with a ruler and a sharpie is the way to fix that. See? Right there. Awesome. 30 seconds later. I mean, 30 minutes later, which is a world record. Cheers. <laughs> in the first time in history, we have finished a project in 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also going to take this project and redo it tomorrow. Yeah. I, Amelia Earhart, you so much, I brought you a box of wine. Here's the thing. If you bring a box of wine to a party because you love somebody, they're not gonna care what the bag looks like. It's a very nice way of looking at it. Anyway. We had a lot of fun making this, and we made it in record time, which yeah. is a very good indicator that we should not try to make things in record time. No, no. Super gluing doesn't work. It wasn't super glue, it was hot glue. So basically, I love everything that Ashley did, and then I super, no, I hot glue gunned yeah. the glasses and the scarf, and I think it looks ridiculous, so. <laughs> she looks like, she looks like she is undercover. <laughs> She does. Yeah. <laughs> undercover. You know what happened is that she didn't really die. And now mm -hmm. she's undercover. In Japan. With our box of wine. With some black hawk. She didn't go down. Oh, she totally got eaten by like crabs. No, she did not go down. She is here. She's with us in the now, but she's undercover. She's eaten by crabs. <laughs> it looks like felt and um aviator goggles and uh, a <laughs> scarf. <laughs> this is a Pinterest fail. It's totally fine though because we've had a lot of wine. No, it's not a fail because I will fix it. She'll fix it. Amelia Earhart, I heart you and I heart you. And I heart you too. And I promise that I love you enough to make you look better tomorrow. And Maybe I'll crochet it. <laughs> She's done, and she's holding wine. Cheers. Good job, you. This is mainly Ashley's work. We felt like we had maybe not the best craft showing last time. <laughs> well, it was 50 minutes and four or five. We were on a deadline. Wine in. Deadlines are hard, especially when you're making a game. You shouldn't do deadlines with crafts that are like art because art can't be on a deadline. True, and this is this is much more like art. So after we made Amelia Earhart in our last setting, we decided, I decided, I'd fix her. Yep, version 1.0 got upgraded. So now this is what we have for our Amelia Earhart wine box bag. Because if you love your friends, you bring them a box of wine. Mm -hmm. So before you might remember, her goggles seemed a little weird maybe, and also she had a strange scarf that I told Beth not to do, but she did anyway. We were on a deadline. It's not the same as this one. <laughs> so what I did for this is I, I used my tracing paper plan where I draw half of what I want out and then fold the tracing paper in half so I can copy the other side over to make the goggles. And these are all made out of felt. I have a black piece over a gray piece and then the whole tan piece for the goggles. And then I decided that the hat could have a little bit of a rounded edge with some flaps, ear flaps, yep. ear flaps. And we also thought she should have, I thought she should have a little bomber jacket going on. Yeah, I wasn't a part of this. This was all happening, internal monologue in Ashley's head. And because it's time to be crazy for a wine box bag, crochet the scarf. Yeah, yeah, 
watch that one off. Cheers to Amelia Earhart. Yep. Cheers to you and all the improvements. Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful I was. <laughs> no, I was waiting for like, cheers to you, Amelia, and all your improvements to aviation. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I wasn't about to go there. I was. <laughs> yes! Cheers to you, Amelia, and all your improvements to aviation. Yeah, so, well, they they think her plane went down on a certain island in the South Pacific, and the only creature, there was no source of natural or um, like spring water, drinking water, and the only habitant of the island were these like crabs that ate human flesh. I did not know that. Let's see, I could be totally wrong. That's why I bring her though, she knows things. <laughs> I know how to make a scarf for a wine box. Beth knows the things. She disappeared July 2nd, 1937. The world flight in 1937. Have they found her plane? They have. They're, they found pieces of her plane. A skull was discovered and buried in 1940 on this island. And when did this happen? 30, 1937. 37. So that's three years later. That's not like an unsolved mystery or a cold case. Yeah, and then there's the Japanese capture theory. That she was captured? Captured, captured? by the Japanese, yeah. And that they planted a skull that said that, that... No, a different theory. The skull wasn't a part of that theory, so there Well, but how the... would they reconcile those two theories together? Could have been a different person's skull. They didn't... These okay, are different Okay, but they were saying the different. Japanese planted the skull. No. I see yeah, find the crab reference, because you're on that. Um, so it says, was Amelia Earhart eaten by giant land crabs? Okay, was it? Is it's it just, a good source? It's just, um... Well, this is from... How stuff works. And then there's a story on Newsweek. Newsweek seems legit. Earhart's remains were probably gobbled up by coconut crabs and some of her bones subsequently hauled off to their lairs. Coconut crabs are an oversized species of hermit crab. In fact, they're the world's largest land dwelling arthropod. Land dwelling hmm. arthropod. These monsters can weigh up to nine pounds. They normally eat coconuts, but they also like to snack on other things. Like, like Amelia Earhart's bones. Yeah. Um, Sorry, baby. Yeah, so... I don't know where I saw this. I you must have seen it somewhere because you were on it hard. <laughs> she got eaten by crabs. <laughs> but this one looks good. Amelia Earhart, I heart you. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, I'd be lost without you. I'd be lost without you. You make my heart soar. I brought you oceans of wine because I Earhart you. <laughs> or something like that. Um, I plain love you. Plain love you. I plain love you. I hope you don't get crabs. <laughs> I mean, that's not even a pun. That's Cut just that real. <laughs> I'm not going to. How about, um, don't be crabby at me. Oh, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> don't love be you. crabby. I brought you wine. <laughs> yes, that's it. Fun. If anybody ever tells you they love you so much they brought you crabs, <laughs> run them <laughs> away. Beep, beep. Cheers to that. I plain adore you. Yep. I'd be lost without you. Yep. I, Amelia Earhart, you. Mm -hmm. Don't get crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be crabby. Don't be crabby. Oh, that's better. No. Oh, cheers. I know, I mean, she's been flying forever. I'm trying to think of um, what the, like the, sec the second, or the third theory of her like landing the Japanese and being um, abducted or Was it something like she was trying to do it? No. She was captivated or captured? Like captured. she was, oh. She wasn't like found the Japanese and was captivated? She might have been, because they were like random pictures of this like skinny Like she felt woman. like she was fine with it. Yeah, because she or was like, it was like um, What's that called? The syndrome where you love your captor? Stockholm syndrome. She has Stockholm syndrome, right? The she, Japanese captured yeah, her and, she fell in love and with then them. she fell in love with them and she was fine. Mm -hmm. I'll have and to... then she spied for them on the US. Yes! There's another theory. I think there's another theory about her where okay, she was Okay, if that happens, this wine box goes out. Oh, uh, yeah. There's another theory that she spied. She didn't disappear. She was actually a US spy and she was over in the South Pacific spying and then they couldn't get her out the u.s yep and then she I've just ended up one. disappearing somewhere she went there intentionally and then they couldn't get her out yep 
So that was another theory. Amelia down. I mean, she didn't really fit in in the South Pacific. It's not like she. I feel no, like but, 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 no, I feel like it could work because she's being Amelia Earhart and she's intentionally crashing her plane to be a spy knowing they'll capture her. And then she's... And then she's going to be the spy putting letters because she in thinks... Bottles. No, she thinks that the U.S. is going to get her back. Like, mm. I'm going to get captured and I'm going to learn all these things and you're going to get me back. No. But then they didn't get her back, right? I mean, and then she had Stockholm Syndrome. That could be a thing. Yeah, I think that's a new theory. Hmm. Where you been, Amelia? fell in love with my captors over in Japan. When I thought captors. the U.S. was going to get me back because captors I was convinced that if I in intentionally crashed my plane to get captured, I would learn intel and they would understand why you wanted me back because I'm like, yeah, right. right. So it wouldn't seem weird. But that's, then she ended up loving her captors and stayed there. And, and even if she didn't love them, we couldn't get her back. True. All of that's true. And the crabs. I don't know which part. <laughs> and then she had crabs. No, basically, no, I didn't mean she had crabs. <laughs> <laughs> then she was eaten by crabs? Yes. <laughs> oh. If you, Amelia Earhart, this wine bag as much as we do, don't forget to like this video uh -huh. and subscribe to my channel where you can see all of the things that Beth and I do together, plus some really legitimate crafting. Yeah, just got some good stuff on there. And head on over to my website, Allo Plum, where I will provide you actual information on how to make this, including the things I did on my own while sober. I did actually make a pattern for this that you can download. So head on over to my website and you can get the pattern so you can make your own Amelia Earhart wine bag. And if you do, please post a photo, right? Oh, yeah, I wanna see this. I wanna see this. If you make this, I wanna see it. So yeah. head over to my Instagram, Allo Plum. Post a photo of your Amelia Earhart bag. Okay. Maybe show us how you did it better, which is probably true. Yeah, we have a we have a couple plans on the hopper, but if you have an idea for a inspired craft that has to do with probably wine and amazing women, uh -huh. let us know. Put a comment down there, and we will make it happen. So, what do you say when you're flying away? Jen? Wheels up. Wheels up. <laughs> yeah. Ready? Wheels up. Wine, wine up. <laughs> wine up. Wine up. Uh, is that? Yep, it's on. Yeah, why are we so. Are we really way bright though? No, we're not really bright. This is my eyes. And we would be lost we without Amelia you. We Amelia heart you. We Amelia air heart you. Oh, that, that's what we do. <laughs> we Amelia air heart you. We Amelia air heart you, and we would be lost without you. No. I think you're gonna probably those bitches out. Ditch those beeps. Beep. <laughs> I actually figured out how to do that. You did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>